Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Now if you're one of those people who like to play drinking games, this is going to be the perfect video. Every time I say chicken and dumplings, take a shot or drink of your favorite beverage. Today we're trying Food Lion's generic brand's chicken and dumplings frozen dinner, which is chicken with dumplings in a creamy sauce and is a product of our neighbors up north. I haven't seen too much stuff besides beer from Canada. Have you? The chicken and dumplings meal weighs one and a half pounds and costs $5.99. $5.99 seems a little pricey, but we get what we pay for, right? Well, from past videos, we know that's not true, but we're going to find out in just a couple minutes about this chicken and dumplings. Now, there's not nearly as many ingredients in the chicken and dumplings dinner as I thought there would be. Could this be a sign of a good chicken and dumplings frozen dinner? The whole chicken and dumplings meal has two and a half one cup servings. Per serving, there's 270 calories, 13 grams of total fat, 2 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 45 milligrams of cholesterol, 560 milligrams of sodium, 22 grams of carbohydrates, no fiber, and 15 grams of protein. Now the sodium content doesn't sound horrible in the chicken and dumplings, but that's because it's broken down into two and a half servings. But in reality, this is one serving of chicken and dumplings. How many ladles of chicken and dumplings do you put in your bowl when you make homemade chicken and dumplings at home? At least two, right? The typical ladle is a one cup serving. See where I'm going with this? The whole chicken and dumplings meal has 1,400 milligrams of sodium. This is why you really need to read the label of your food before putting it down your gullets. You can cook the chicken and dumplings meal in the microwave or conventional oven. We only bought one chicken and dumplings meal and we're opting to use the microwave. The directions say to vent the corners of the plastic film and then the microwave on high for eight minutes. After eight minutes, remove from the microwave and give the chicken and dumplings a mix. I gotta be honest, I was expecting something to look a little bit more appetizing. But as long as our chicken and dumplings taste good, who cares what they look like? Once everything's been mixed together, replace the plastic film over the chicken and dumplings and microwave for another six minutes. After a total cooking time of 14 minutes in the microwave and resting for two minutes, our chicken and dumplings meal is at the recommended 165 degrees and is ready for us to enjoy. Now I don't want to say it looks good or it looks bad because I like my chicken and dumplings to be a little bit more like soup or stew. I know a lot of people that like their chicken and dumplings like this, but to me, it looks horrid. So let me know what kind of chicken and dumplings you like. The chicken and dumplings that look like this? or the chicken and dumplings that look like this. Once we got the chicken and dumplings out of the tray and into a bowl, they looked a little bit better. Mrs. Wolf Pit wanted to hunt down a couple pieces of the chicken, both the dark and white meat, to show you the people. And while searching around for the chicken, we noticed the creamy sauce looked more like stalagmites you'd find in a cave than it did a creamy sauce. Don't get me wrong, I think stalagmites are beautiful in a cave, but not so much when they're hanging from the bottom of a spoonful of chicken and dumplings. So when Mrs. Wolf Pit and I tasted the chicken and the chicken and dumplings, we were both surprised. The chicken wasn't bad at all. It actually reminds me of the little pieces of chicken you get in the Campbell's Condensed Chicken Noodle Soup. Next we tried a dumpling, and with the dumpling, I was extremely surprised. I was extremely surprised that a chicken and dumplings frozen dinner with 1,400 milligrams of sodium had zero flavor. The dumpling tasted just like it looked, doughy, pasty, and bland. The thickness of the texture of the glue 
I mean, creamy sauce was not good at all. It reminded me of the slime we used to play with as kids. And if you eat this whole meal, I can guarantee you, you're going to have an abdominal roadblock for a day or two. Next, we try the spoonful of everything together, the chicken and dumplings with the not so creamy sauce. And unfortunately, there's really no flavor besides in the chicken, which was the best part of the chicken and dumplings. And I'm very confident that's the first time I've ever said the meat in the frozen dinner was the best part of the meal. This chicken and dumplings dinner will certainly fill you up for $5.99, but so will a roll of paper towels, and the paper towels would have more flavor and only cost 99 cents. So with everything considered, I'm giving Food Lion's frozen chicken and dumplings dinner an unrateable score. Actually, I'll take that back. I'll give them one point for the chicken. So the Food Lion chicken and dumplings frozen dinner gets a one out of 10. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe, and share it with your family and friends, and I'll see you soon.